hard enough losing a son, then you have to spend the entire day making million decisions about the service. Mr. Henry, we're sorry for your loss. It's a tactic munch to Tuola. You have a lead? We need to ask you about Tyler's legal problems with his website. And you think that had something to do with his murder? We're not sure. What happened? Girl threatened to sue Ty to shut down his site. He didn't have a leg to stand on. She's stripped in a public place. Zero expectation of privacy. Well, a court in Texas awarded a girl who's stripped in a bar $5 million. Ruled she had a right to privacy. They ruled that a video company couldn't profit from distributing her likeness. The footage from Ty's site was free. He wasn't making any money from distribution. You didn't have any problem with your son exploiting drunk college girls? My son is dead. You should be out looking for his killer instead of standing there questioning his ethics. He was running a perfectly legal business. Which might have had something to do with why he was killed. Her name's Chloe Spears. One minute you're having a couple of drinks with some friends. The next thing you know, you're all over the internet like some, some kind of porn queen. Yeah, but Chloe, you took off your clothes in public. Nobody forced you to do that. Yeah, well, 50 guys feed you booze all night. Then they carry you on their shoulders to the stage and shine a spotlight on you. What do you call that? I got drunk, I got stupid. How well did you know Tyler? Just from that night. Seemed like a nice enough guy. Did you talk to him after he put your video on the internet? I asked him to take it off. Could have lost my scholarship if Coach saw it. That must have pissed you off when Tyler wouldn't take that video off the site. <laughs> you think? Chloe, where were you Saturday night? We had an away game. Got myself a triple-double. We pinned 82, 45. So at the time of the murder, our prime suspect was in Philly. Well, maybe she had somebody do her dirty work for her. No boyfriend. And then Finn's checking on the family. Whatever happened to keggers anyway? I mean, college kids don't even party anymore. They're too busy making money organizing strip shows and selling porn on the web. We live in perverted times, my friend. How many girls post topless on that website? And how many of them had a problem with it? One. Chloe. Just because the others didn't sue doesn't mean that they were any less exploited. You think all the girls on that site felt violated? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, please. Our culture teaches women the easiest way to become rich and famous is to objectify themselves. Why get a job in education when you can become the next winner on The Bachelor? Okay. That's, that's the new American dream. Chloe's not the only one with the motive. Who else? Chloe's father, Vernon. He did three years in Sing Sing for assault and battery. He got collared last week after he busted into Tyler's fraternity and took a swing at him. Well, that sounds like a winner. Gets better than that. Our man Vernon took a job as a truck driver when he got out the pen. Spent the last year delivering furniture from a warehouse four blocks away from the treatment plant. I was making deliveries till midnight. On a Saturday, I can't even get Domino's to deliver past 10 p.m. We pride ourselves on service. What's going on? That frat kid you tried to beat up last week found his body this morning. It had nothing to do with that. But well, you're not sorry he's dead, right? The kid deserved a good ass whooping. Don't mean I killed him. Look, I get it. Some rich punk takes advantage of your little girl. You go to teach him a lesson, and it gets out of hand. No, you got the wrong guy. If you ask me, your daughter's a very fortunate girl. She goes into a bar yeah. full of horny guys, does a uh -huh. strip tease. She's lucky nothing worse yeah. than that. Nothing sure. worse? That son of a bitch humiliated her. Come on, she knew what that camera was there. She knew what she was doing. Hey, 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 take it easy, Vern. We're gonna take a little ride down to the precinct. Medical examiner got some evidence she wants to talk to you about. What evidence? Come on, let's turn it. Huh? What evidence? Two kinds of fibers in your victim's anal cavity. It took me all day to match the samples with anything in our library. Plate A is a strand of hair. Killers? Only if he's related to Seabiscuit. The hair found in your victim is horse hair, Mongolian stallion, to be precise. So maybe a sex toy, or a whip, or a cat of nine tails? Not a bad guess. A lot of floggers are made with horse hair, usually attached to leather, though. Our horse hair was bound to a rare wood known as Pernambuco, imported exclusively from Brazil for the manufacture of violins and violin bows. He was sodomized with a violin bow? 